Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. In this training session, I will show you how to manage OWA in Exchange Server 2010 using Exchange Control Panel. This new feature in Exchange Server 2010 provides a graphical user interface for both the normal user and privileged user to manage OWA such that Normal users can manage their own OWA settings and account information whereas the privileged user can manage the OWA settings and account information for both himself and all other users in the organization. Now I connect to the exchange control panel of the normal user testuser 1 which just look like the options page of Outlook Web Access in Exchange Server 2007 with the added option for changing their account information. In this training session Using the Exchange Control Panel interface, I just select the option Organize Email to show you how Inbox Rules helps in the management of OWA. Here, I need to protect the testuser 1 from incoming mails related to lottery. So I create a new Inbox Rule. such that if the above mentioned word is present in the subject field of my incoming mails, it will be redirected to junk email folder. Now I just send a mail from testuser2, with the word lottery only in the subject field. Again I send another mail to testuser1, with same word, only in message body field. But the content of both mails are related to lottery. To test the applied inbox rule for testuser1, I check the status of new mails from testuser2. Now you can clearly notice that the first mail from testuser2 is redirected to junk mailbox. But the second mail is received at the inbox. Even though both mails have content related to lottery, only the first mail is filtered. This is due to the fact that I have applied the rule only to subject field. To solve this issue completely, I have to implement the rule to message body also, but I will continue this process by logging into Exchange Control Panel as a privileged user, so that you can understand its administrative privileges and granular options. After logging into Exchange Control Panel as administrator, I expand this drop-down list, which shows the available options. Myself option helps the individual users to manage their contact information and OWA settings. My organization option reveals the true power of Exchange Control Panel, which allows the privileged users to manage the mailboxes, groups, users and administrative roles in the organization. Another user option allows the privileged users to perform the same operations that they perform on their own account by using the Myself option to another user's account. After knowing the administrative privileges and options in Exchange Control Panel, I edit the previously assigned inbox rule for testuser1 using the administrator account. In this time, I configure the inbox rule in such a way that, even if the word lottery is present either in, subject or message body fields of my incoming mails, it will be redirected to junk email folder. Now, I click this link, which leads to the inbox page, and from that, I send a mail to testuser1, with the word lottery only in the subject field. Again I send another mail to testuser1, with that same word only in message body field. Here also the content of both mails are related to lottery. To test the edited inbox rule for testuser1, I check the status of the new mails from administrator. Now you can clearly notice that, both the mails from administrator are redirected to junk email folder. Finally from this training session you can understand about the fine grain options and privileges available in Exchange Control Panel, for OWA management. We hope that this training session on OWA management, using Exchange Control Panel, made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to manage OWA in Exchange Server 2010 using Exchange Control Panel. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can quench your thirst on how to implement role-based access control in Exchange Server 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.